Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. The offseason in college basketball has been almost just as crazy as the college basketball season. But one team we have not talked about at length at all is the Louisville Cardinals. And that is a mistake because Louisville is a team that despite only winning four games this past year, they are looking like they're going to take a big step forward this season. And their last scholarship has been filled because former four-star commit to the Memphis Tigers, Tyler Johnson, a six-foot, 160-pound point guard, has committed to the Louisville Cardinals. I'm going to go over how important I think Tyler Johnson will be for Louisville next season, and I'm going to go over every single addition that Louisville has added to the roster this offseason and see if I think that Louisville could be a team that potentially could be an NCAA tournament team next year. Now, looking at Tyler Johnson, he's a former four-star recruit. He's a top 70 prospect, and whenever you get a guy that is a top 100 prospect. He's usually a talented player. He's a guy that has upside and could potentially, right out of the gate in college basketball, have a lot of success and maybe be a potential one and done. Probably not in the case of Tyler Johnson because he's only a six foot guard and the NBA really likes guys that are taller these days. But Tyler Johnson should be a guy that could step in to the Louisville Carls and have success right out of the gate. He is a player that could start as the point guard for Louisville next year unless another player that we'll get to could be the starting point guard for Louisville depending on the way that Kenny Payne, who by the way has done a fantastic job, decides to put the roster together. I really think that Kenny Payne has done an underrated job at Louisville. I know that a lot of people want Kenny Payne fired, and I totally get it because only four wins in year one's bad. But what happened to Louisville with the NCAA and Rick Pitino and the fallout of all that? It put Louisville in a tough spot. No player wanted to play for Louisville, but now things are starting to trend in the right direction because the players that Louisville is bringing in, I know that a lot of people aren't paying attention to Louisville because they only won four games this past year, but maybe you should start paying attention to Louisville because of the fact they've got a really talented roster that's potentially top 25 good if Kenny Payne can mesh all of this talent together. Now, that is very tough to do because when you do not have roster continuity, it is really tough for players to mesh together. When you've got more guys that have played together year over year, it makes it a lot easier to continue to have success. That's why a lot of people thought North Carolina would be successful this past season because they had every player back from the team that went all the way to the national championship game the year before, but then North Carolina did not have a lot of success. Sometimes things just don't work out. But Louisville has no roster continuity at all. They've only got a couple players back from last year's team, but again, the talent is there, and we're going to get all the way into it. You look at Tyler Johnson, again, he's 6'160 pound guard. He should be solid for Kenny Payne. He's a guy that has talent. He shot the three ball fairly well in high school. He's getting better as a passer. I feel like he's a great addition. But he's not even the biggest high school addition that Louisville's brought in. Five-star recruit Trenton Flowers, a 2024 commit reclassified to 2023 he's a six foot eight small forward he is committed to Louisville that was a huge addition earlier in this offseason for the Louisville Carls obviously with him reclassifying we do not know how good Trenton Flowers will be as a freshman because he will be a year younger than everyone else and a lot of players that have reclassified have struggled and it takes them a year or two to start getting acclimated to the college game so we can't really expect Trenton Flowers to come and just dominate right out of the gate but he could because he's a really talented player but he is a guy that we're gonna have to see how good he can be early on in his college career, but he's still a really talented player. Dennis Evans, he's a borderline four slash five star recruit, depending on the service that you look at. He's a seven footer, and he is a really talented player that has a lot of game. And again, just looking at the raw talent of players that Louisville's bringing, it's really impressive. Louisville has a top five recruiting class in college basketball and a really good transfer pool class as well. They've also brought in a six foot six four star forward in Caleb Glenn. He's another guy that Louisville's brought in the high school class. They also have a six foot six four-star small forward and Curtis Williams Jr. He's another top 80 recruit. So that's five guys that Louisville has brought in that are top 80 recruits. How many programs in college basketball can say that? Maybe Kentucky, maybe Duke, I don't know, outside of that. So Louisville is recruiting just like the Blue Bloods. Louisville's a great program. Again, they've just fallen on hard times, but Kenny Payne with his NBA background and Louisville has deep pockets. They've got a really good NIL operation as well. It is showing that despite the four-win season they had last year, they're not going to be devoid of talent for long. And just in Kenny Payne's second season, Louisville's already brought in five top eight recruits. They've also got a junior college player in Corin Davis, who's a six foot seven shooting guard. We'll have to see how he'll acclimate to the power six level game. So that's five high school recruits and then a junior college transfer. So that's a lot of youth and a lot of players that are not used to the power six level game in college basketball. But we'll have to see how well they can do right out of the gate for Louisville. 
and also Louisville's brought in some transfers. Trey White, a former four-star recruit for the USC Trojans, a six-foot-six small forward, he's transferred to Louisville. He probably could be a centerpiece for the Carls next year because he had a lot of success in the Pac-12. One of USC's better players this past season, and he is a guy that's only a sophomore but has a lot of talent. He could potentially be a guy that improves his game at Louisville and goes to the NBA draft after the season. Who knows there, but he's a really talented player. Notice the amount of small forwards that Louisville's bringing in. They want to have that versatility and have a lot of guys they can interchange from the two through four positions. I've already listed four guys that are 6'6". Six, six. It's insane the amount of versatility Louisville will have next year. Miami transfer Danila Jonovich. He's a power forward at 6'8". He's another really talented player. Both Trey White and Danila Jonovich are rated as four stars in the transfer pool. So again, a lot of talent there. And Scott Clark, the former five-star recruit in high school that was committed to Kentucky. Then he went to Illinois and now he's transferred to Louisville. He's a six foot three guard. He could be the starting point guard for Louisville unless Tyler Johnson's the starting point guard that Scott Clark plays the two. We'll have to see how Kenny Payne gets that roster construction to fit. But Scott Clark is a talented player. Now the big key for him is whether he will be committed to the Louisville Carls and whether he'll play because he's only played in 10 basketball games in college basketball for the Fighting Illini. He never played for Kentucky. He decommitted there went to Illinois. So he's been all over the place and he's only played in 10 college games. But if he does play for Louisville and can showcase his talents, he is a good basketball player. A little turnover prone, but he is a guy that can pass the ball to a high level. He can shoot the ball. So he is a good addition for Louisville, but we'll just have to see how he meshes with Kenny Payne's offense and with the rest of the team because all of these guys are new. The only players that Louisville has coming back from this past year is Mike James, Brandon Huntley Hatfield, who was a Tennessee transfer, so he's not even an original Louisville commit. JJ Trainer, Hersey Miller, and Emmanuel Okafor. So all of these guys are new except those players. So Louisville has more roster flux than probably any other team in college basketball right now, and that's what makes them so hard to figure out. Based on raw talent alone, Louisville is an NCAA tournament team next year. They've got a team that has top 25 talent. They are that good. They've got a top recruiting class in college basketball, a top five class. They've got a good transfer portal class. Kenny Payne is bringing in the talent. He's had to do this, and Kenny Payne is lucky to have the transfer portal and also a bunch of playing time and a lot of NIL because if it wasn't for all these things, then Louisville would not have been able to have the chance to turn around the program this quickly because other teams in the past, when they got decimated by the NCAA or whatever reason their team just went downhill, it would take a team a long time to get back to being really good. But in this day and age of college basketball, if you're a big program like Louisville and they are a brand in college basketball, you can turn around the program really quickly. And players, they want playing time. They're getting good NIL at Louisville. They've got a really good fan base at the KFC Yum Center. Louisville is a good basketball program, and Kenny Payne is bringing in the talent. Louisville has a top 25 team based on talent, but will he be able to mesh it all together? I have no idea, which is why it is way too early to say whether Louisville will be an NCAA tournament team this year, but they're definitely going to be a team that wins more than four games next year. That is a guarantee. Louisville should be a team that at least wins double-digit games, and if he can mesh all his talent together, Louisville could be an NCAA tournament team and at least a pesky team in the ACC next year because this is a lot of talent. Whether you're looking at Trenton Flowers, a guy that's reclassified in 2023, we're going to have to see how he does. Whether you got Scott Clark to transfer from Illinois, if he plays all season for Louisville and actually messages into the roster, he could be really good. Trey White, the USC transfer, even the new commit in Tyler Johnson. Looking up and down this roster, they've got a lot of talent. Brandon Huntley Hatfield's still a guy with NBA aspirations, a former five-star recruit as well. Louisville's got a lot of talent, but it's a lot of players with interesting backgrounds coming to Louisville, whether it's transferring from another school, whether it's committing in high school and going to Louisville or whether it's reclassifying. Louisville's got some interesting players that will be playing on the roster next year. But if Kenny Payne can mesh it all together, Louisville will definitely be better in college basketball next year. But how much better depends on how well this roster meshes together in college basketball for Louisville next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Tyler Johnson committing to Louisville, filling that last roster spot for the Carls and how good of a job you think Kenny Payne's done in this offseason for Louisville and whether you think this roster can mesh together and Louisville could be an NCAA tournament team next year. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I will see you next time.